where there's tea, there is hope. And they say, behind every successful woman, there is a substantial amount of coffee. And today on my set, um, I'm having a wonderful, brilliant brains in content creation and media industry. My name is Kevin Amunza, and this is Tea Break, where we serve real tea. Hi, ladies. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. Who is non -Sizi? So my name is Agnes Nonsizi. I am a lead publicist at Arazo New Media, which is an entertainment PR company that is based in Nairobi, Kenya. I do music PR. I'm also a TV presenter, a moderator, and an MC. So basically, I am all things media business, and I'm glad to be here. You're welcome. And I'm Felistas Gadi, currently the content lead for Milele FM. I am also a content creator and a part-time filmmaker. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Good to have you. Now, this has been a conversation that's been go going around for, for years and yeah. years. The issue of content. Yeah. Okay. You guys are coming from a place where you are advising and leading groups and, and talents yeah. okay. in terms of content. content. Mm -hmm. What is content for you? Maybe we can start with Felicity because she is currently handling <laughs> content. So actively, Felicity is actively handling content. Make us understand what is content. Actively, 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 content. For me, my interpretation of what content is, is it is any, any packaged, and I say packaged yeah. because it has to be very deliberate, yeah. any packaged material, whether in audio, visual, or written form, mm -hmm. that is being put out there for audiences, for, the, for consumption of audiences. Yeah. And this is not something that is new. Mm -hmm. Content has been there since the inception of radio and TV and yeah. whatnot. So that that for me that is what I would describe content as. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah and, and to add on to that, mm -hmm. it's so I would maybe now break it down to a layman person. Mm -hmm. So it's music, mm -hmm. which is audio. Yes. And then now we come to shooting a music video, mm -hmm. and if you have YouTube, mm -hmm. whatever you give it to the audience, mm -hmm. that is content. content. If you're a writer, mm -hmm. so if you're writing on a blog, if you are an author, that is. Yes content because it's, um, it's, I mean, what do you call it, written, your people are reading it, mm -hmm. yeah. So basically now breaking it down to a layman person who's saying, like, what is this about your and vision? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who determines that this is good content? Because we have, we have had conversations of people, probably you, you, you put your thing out there and people yeah. say, ah, that song doesn't have content, or rather that mood doesn't have content. What is this that determines that, what is, what is this good content? content? What is this con good content that? See, okay, that's why I said it yeah. has to be, when you're doing it, it's deliberate, deliberate for yeah. someone else. You understand? It is not for your own entertainment. Yes, it is not for your own consumption and your own um, um, entertainment for uh, per se. So what makes good content? Uh, first of all, I think if it's relevant. That's why you'll see some people will say, I that is not good content because they it's missed, yes, it's not relating to them. They missed the mark. Ilipita mm too. -hmm. Over the head, mm -hmm. and and that's why you'll find people who, who will not be relating to the kind of things that yeah. you put out, whether it's music, like like you know sometimes there are the, the, the different genres of music. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm a fan of rap, mm -hmm. so for me anything yeah. that is rap, Cardi B, whoever, Octopizo, Calligraph, for me purely content. Okay. Okay. So literally, it's not something you can say that is determined that it's good content. It's just the target audience. Well, well, okay. good content. There is good content. <laughs> there is nothing that determines good content. Rather, there is. The mm. tier, Let's the come. Yes. So, one thing is, by the time you're putting out there, who do you want to target? Mm. I, I am a gospel singer, mm. or I'm a gospel minister. Mm. I am targeting people of a certain, I mean, uh, let's say, yeah, faith, mm. if I may yes. say. Mm. So, one thing, and I tell content creators to understand is, who are you targeting mm. with what? Mm. Yeah? Mm. We, 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 we've, we've already, and that's why Felicity is saying, um, if I come across like me, I don't understand rap. So if I come across rap, mm. I will not say this is rap, but it's just like, we need me, it's really yeah. good. Mm. And, I, and that's what most people yeah. do not understand, mm. the receivers or the audience. Mm. And even with the online, if you go to even the influencers, you mm. get someone, 
uh, let's say for example, there's influencer A and influencer B. I am a fan of influencer A, but influencer B put something, and me, I go ahead commenting, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. It's not me who is being targeted. Yeah, true. If you don't like something, you don't relate to it, let it pass. Yes. But again now, good content, let's talk about quality. Mm -hmm. Because there's the quality that comes with it, and when it comes to the audio, Yes, you guys are on radio, yes. you know, mm -hmm. so there's a certain mm, a level of mixing, mastering, production that you expect. Because I could bring a song that is well written, but the production is bad. It's bad, So that's that is true. not good content because it doesn't match a certain standard. It doesn't mean that the writing is not good, but the production is not right. Mm -hmm. And also the music videos as well. Mm -hmm. There's a certain uh, standard of music videos that we expect and mm -hmm. also in terms of what are we viewing? Is mm -hmm. it viewer friendly in terms of can I watch it with a child or someone of older age? And I mean, is it obscene or, or oh, not? So yes. I think also quality, quality really matters. And when it comes even to writing, mm -hmm. like what quality paper are you putting out mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. So quality is, I think, yes. also determines whether content is good. And also, good. just to add on to uh, Nontese's point mm -hmm. on uh, quality, Quality, it all goes back to, to the consumer of this yeah. of these pieces that you actually create as content creators, yes? So how does it make them feel at the end of it all? How you pack it, ah. you understand? So you, you like she said, and she brought a, a very good point. You can actually create a nice song. It is well, well written, good but then good when good. you're, yes, good vocals, <laughs> but when you bring it as a final product, yeah. it just falls of the face of the earth, people don't really care about it. Yeah. So you need to also look at what other people are doing, yes, it needs to be competitive as well, good content needs to be competitive, mm -hmm. you just can't be seated there and you're relaxed and you're in your comfort zone yeah. and, and you're saying, uh, um, do you Oh, it's they will nice. come yeah. at the end of the day. Do your thing, man. Yeah. This, this, this is me. Yeah. This is you. Yeah, this is me. You have to came here today. You've yeah. come here. You have the set all prepared. You, yeah. you would have just opted for one camera uh -huh. that is no lighting, yeah. no microphone. Uh -huh. I'm a this producer. Is this is me. Yeah. You understand? This so, brings me to, to another question. Is, um, art, art and media is yeah. a reflection of ourselves. What happens, what we put out there is what we see and what we relate with every single day. Mm. It's something we interact with, people we interact with. Mm. And then you, you find that an artist puts out something, but the society denies that that's not us. Mm -hmm. we are, do, do you think like we are living in denial? Like now, if I, the, the, the recent culture, the, the game that came, mm -hmm. the recent mm -hmm. culture that came, the, the genre. Don't you think we were denying who we are, or rather, was it reflecting of where people come from? Okay, I have. Uh, so this is my answer. We are a country of double standards. Mm -hmm. So, fine, I understand that the Kenyan music is a bit harsh when it comes to the language. Mm -hmm. It's a raw. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about in being intimate, there's no making it look glamorous, as in, I can't there's even There's no metaphoric kind of There's writing. no metaphoric, they say it as it's it is. I, I, I can't even say it myself. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because uh, our counterparts from, um, and also we can attest that rap is also very harsh. I mean, what, it's one of the very raw music that mm. we listen to. Mm. Our t counterparts here, just here down the road, down, it's not very far. But if you look at like one of Diamond's songs, and you check one of our game, the message is the same. the same. It's how it's being it's delivered. delivered uh -huh. yes. Again, we go back to packaging. packaging. <laughs> you know, yeah. you could say, uh, I, I, because again, we are raw, but we don't want to get that mm -hmm. raw. You, 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 you yes. know what I'm saying? Yes, it's not so, supposed to be vulgar. And I usually say our language is like Sheng is very. It can get vulgar. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I, this, I don't know. I don't have that. Mm -hmm. But again, even if the videos, see, are we not the same people who consume can uh, be when they are twerking and not? Wow, wow. You, you get what I'm saying? Like <laughs> 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 it's it to be like who will not be in a real yeah, talk, yeah, in a yeah. video, mm -hmm. and now. And then you'll be drawn into the matatus. Exactly. <laughs> but now when our own are doing it, then yeah, it's, 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 it's bad. Nice. I'll, I'll post it. No, so for me, I need to challenge you, Kevo. 
are we, is our role to reflect society or to shape society? That's one thing. Okay. Because like you said, mm -hmm. I mean, sex happens everywhere, yes? Tanzania, when they're talking about sex, at a kuna vene demon that I sema vizuri sana. He actually, he's the one yes. who objectifies women. Is yes, it, yes, okay. it is very, very uh, nasty. So for me, you you have to go back and and think of what is your role as a content creator. Are you are you just a mirror that that uh, that reflects yeah. society, <laughs> or are you going to go a step further and shape? society because you don't need to be vulgar. Yeah. Let me let me talk about a particular song. Shamra Shamra and this this song has been we've the discussed talk. it yeah. the talk of town. <laughs> that song is very is vulgar, yes. But the they they act you would actually not know until That's it nice. gets to Major's yeah. verse. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So so it is it is it is you as a creator to actually make the decision and decide that that yes i'm going to talk about sex but, but this is how it. yes this is how i'm going to package it differently yeah. let me touch on rap as well um rap in kenya versus maju yeah. it is for, for for black people rap is their way to Express. fight for yeah. their yeah. culture and, their and who they are so when they talk about being shot, being killed, yeah. being strippers, that is who they yeah. are. This is their lifestyle, you understand? And that's why Cardi B will always be talking about twerking because she was a stripper. Yeah. So we took a break when the room was too hot and we had to really pause a bit and take it back. So uh, we have agreed where we come from has affected so much what we put out here. Do you agree that, ladies? Definitely. Yeah. And if there's no any um, like a determination to say that this content is good, as long as the TA that you are getting content for yes. receive the content. Yes. yes. And they relate to then that they relate to content. It. Yes. You see, and uh, you see, for someone, for people like even the YouTubers and influencers and all those people, like if I'm a family person, I will create content from a family aspect mm -hmm. from how I brought up my children. Mm -hmm. And you see, that's why content will never run out of fashion. Your experience with labor mm -hmm. will be very different from my experience yes, with labor. And that can that's become true. a story. And it can become a story. <laughs> and actually, another thing, when you, say, when you say good content, do you mean successful content? Because I don't think there's any bad content. As long as there's someone who is happy receiving your content and mm -hmm. being entertained, and you understand. Mm -hmm. So maybe the question is then, what what would make content successful? Yeah. Like why how why do some people say for example Flaco he has a mass appeal or something of the sort and others who probably want to do the exact same thing they try and probably they yeah. they then it doesn't pick up as much as they would. So that means that you your content doesn't need to be perfect. Do we need to? Do, does your what content is perfect? Need to be perfect? Yes. yes. What nothing is perfect? perfect. Yeah. There's no perfect. There's, there's nothing perfect in, under the sun. If you have something on mind, start. Yes, start. start. But also start with again intention. What are your yes. intentions? Uh -huh. Because I think that's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. There are people who put out content there with good intentions. I won't talk about my story because I want to encourage someone. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage. I I I, I fought depression. Yes. I fought addiction. I fought a bad marriage. I came out of it. And I, I was the problem, you know, mm. because again, there's no perfection in whatever you do. So what is your intention? So you have been managing artists mm. and not managing for doing PR. PR, even management at And all. managing artists. Yeah. My question would be, um, you have been approached with a lot of artists. Mm. What is the strategy? So let's say start with like for publicizing, you know, for publicity, for music, PR. Mm. Before I even call Felix, hey, I have an artist, I have to make sure that is the song of quality. Mm -hmm. Has it been mastered well? Has mm -hmm. it been mixed well? Because it will make the job easier for me and for the artist as well. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because there's no need of publicizing a product that is not good. Yes. And good in terms of... And you see, sometimes it's, this is a very, very, very um, sensitive conversation to have with a creative. Because mm -hmm. you've gone into the <laughs> studio, this is your baby, it's like, I can't tell you, Kevin. Your child has a default. Your ear is not, one of your son's ear is not <laughs> working. <laughs> and, but having been in the industry for a very long time, yeah. you learn how to say, okay, this can work, but mm -hmm. 
there will be these challenges, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. The song probably has weak mastering, it has weak um, mixing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, um, Mastering has a problem. Yeah. The liver of vocal is not right. And again, yeah. also, uh, if you want us to go ahead, we will go ahead, but mm -hmm. you know it will be an uphill climb. Mm -hmm. And that's why we come back with feedback. I'll talk to Felicia because she's a professional in what she does, and then I'll tell them, okay, this is the feedback I got from yeah. a professional who is in a, sta a station X and a mm -hmm. station Y. You play the song, but you, you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Because what is the point of us being in the industry if we can't help you grow? Yes. Yes. But again, an artist needs to be very open-minded mm -hmm. because I've seen people who are not open to correction and to criticism. And I'm not criticizing you telling you, Usi, why in Batana, Saudi, I can't imbibe. We have seen people with bad voices and they yeah. offer because again, talent and content is one, it's 10%. Mm -hmm. The work. So, so what I'm getting from you. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Does everything go? Or is there a regulation? of how content should be delivered. There is, there is something that she said that is very important. She will listen and she will tell you either this and this and this is not good. At the end of the day, there, there are some marker checkers whereby, yeah. yes, you have to go back to and That's say, good. yes, you have to go back to and go like, for this is what makes a great song. Mm. This, 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 mm. this, this. You understand? So yes, kuna, there are those factors. There's a checklist, yes. Even on radio. Even on radio, there's a checklist because, um, say for example now, I don't want to be, um, right now, radio is big in the country, you understand? It is, it is leading in terms of, um, yes, uh, media consumption, yes? So, there are still people who are actually depending on us to tell us what is going on in the country. So, of course, the first thing that I'm going to, to be telling my presenters and all these uh, wonderful brands that I'm working with is your content has to be, um, has to be relevant in terms of what is happening right now. Yeah. You understand? And, yeah. You cannot be other, other. Thinking about X and Y. And Y, and y you understand? <laughs> Secondly, you have to be well, when you're talking about a topic, it has to be well, very well researched. Research. Yes. Actually, I wanted to say this. Your content needs to have content. Yes. <laughs> yes. Your content, yes. Content, content, content. You cannot be talking to people from a point of ignorance because, yeah, again, yeah. yes, we live at a time where today, but Agnes. We are far away. Yes, we are far <laughs> away. Oh, so Agnes has said this. Let me confirm if it's true. And then you go, you find different information that is out there. Number one, that, that will make you, there's some level of disbelief that will now be associated with your brand. And yes. Again, we're in an era where we need to verify what you are giving yes. the audience, mm. especially now for people in, on radio, people on TV, because we have the rise of digital. Everybody who has a phone is now a newsmaker or a yes. great news in yes. any way. Yeah. Yeah. Like the other day, I mean, and this is so funny, I saw someone who's calling themselves a blogger on Twitter and we got to rest um, our former M uh, our MP, Koinange, when he passed. So someone was like, this is the MP for the constitu constituency that they are, the, 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 the church was burnt, because you know the church that burnt during post-election mm -hmm. violence was in Kiamba. But this is a different Kiamba, mm -hmm. not the constituency that yes. Koinange was heading. And I asked the them, point did, of information. did you yes. have to tell you what, what she told me? It's on Twitter. I am a blogger. I'm right. like, make right. what? That's, and that's where we go Just wrong. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what is the future? content creators. What is the future? How do you look at it? It can only get better. Yes. It's bright. But for those people who know what they are putting out there. And very competitive. It yes, is it is not like place. before that that you probably only had let me speak now for something like T V. Mm. At so now Kitambo KBC we used to even schedule <laughs> even <laughs> even to Naziniwa Tanya Kulala Mefika. Right now um, the KBC does not enjoy that monopoly like yeah. before. You understand? Yeah. So it, it just it will keep getting very competitive yeah. as we continue mm. because so many apps are there in terms of content creation. Mm. Just the other day, YouTube. Right now, YouTube is doing YouTube shorts. Mm. Why is it doing YouTube shorts? Because they assumed that long form video would be tiring. You understand? And and this is what happened when they came into the market. YouTube was very 
walikuwa na enjoy you understand because facebook was just there with the photos and yeah, posts and captions no you understand videos. no videos no nothing yeah. so at that time youtube enjoyed the market fully because when a video is posted and an alternative to tv yeah. that was the only place you'd go sit down and watch mm -hmm. however right now you can post your content on instagram and it is two minutes and people are happy now people are getting bored with very long oh, videos you're just pointing out something about uh, coming from a point of what are the things a content creator should really be keen on so that they don't get into the making mistakes kind of thing? Sometimes you learn through your mistakes because you think this is the audience you want to target. You think, okay, I'm a family woman, person who will watch me is this and this. Then you put out the content, you're embraced by a whole different uh, audience. When you end up with your insights, you're like, hey, this is not what I was expecting. Exactly. And you see, you have to adjust yourself. That's why content creators, one thing you have to be is you cannot be rigid. And this is the same thing with artists. Mm. Because we tell someone, okay, know your target audience. But then again, you put it out there, a whole different whatever. So you see, you have to adjust your shit mm. to what is working. Because again, you don't want to be the one fighting against this. I tell people, learn through mistakes. Yes. There's no time you can say, I want to put some. And that's why you're like, I want to start today. I don't have this. I don't have a camera. Pick your phone and be there. Yes. Yes. You know, as long as you're operating the standards that are, are, are there, you're putting quality work out there, you're not um, abusing. I mean, like, the, there are laws that are there. I mean, and these are things that I think now, as long as you decide to go the content way, mm -hmm. you have to learn about some things. Some things like defamation, mm -hmm. those are things now you can't be ignorant. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said to me, I don't care whether you're employed as a, you are a comedian now you become a radio presenter. That's perfect. Please adjust this new you, you so that yeah. you don't do things and find yourself in situations. Mm -hmm. Life is a process of learning. Yes. You understand? Learning. Learning. Short break. I'll be back. Let's take some tea.